I wanted to have you on stream talk about kick for like 15 minutes. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. I'm ready to see people fucking spam. We'll get right into it, chat. Do you know when, when console's coming, uh, the console app? When you're dealing with like third-party companies like PlayStation and Xbox, you have to apply to, to have an app on their console. They have to take time to approve you. We already submitted our application, I don't know, like 60 days ago, sure. and they're still going through it. So it's hard for me to give you an update in terms of like, hey, console's coming in a week or console's coming in two months. Okay, so kick did their part. It's basically PlayStation and Xbox have to do theirs. Exactly. What about smart? TV, Apple TV, etc. Those types of things. So that works right now. So on our new app that's coming out really, really soon, you can do AirPlay. Like I can put your stream on on the TV right behind me. Yeah, that works 100%. Chromecast, AirPlay, all that works? Yep. Wow, so the new app, when is the new app gonna drop? In the next seven to 10 days. 100% it'll be out? Well, that's us submitting it to Apple, us submitting it to Google. Like we're ready, we think the app is ready to go. It's up to them to again, review the code. That could take a day, it could take three days, five days, I don't know. But from our side of things, like that's the time frame. It could be sooner than that, honestly. With this new app coming out, what are some major bugs, fixes, patches? What are some major things you can say that is, this new app has that this one we're currently using, the beta one does not have. So I think the chat is just much smoother on the current chat. There's no like the emotes are stagnant, like they don't move. All that is all good. Uh, there's moderation on the new apps. I know it's a big feature that people were asking for is being able to, to ban, to time out, being able to reply to other people, to being able to at mention other people. For me, I feel like most of the experience of Kick and the apps as a whole is the chat, right? So making that comparably better than what we have now is everything. So that, that's a huge improvement for us. Will the mobile app be able to see polls? Yes. Okay. I know this is not just the app itself, but but uh, kick web, are we ever gonna get predictions in some type of like point system to where we can kind of like vote with our points? Like if I'm playing somebody like in a game, who would you guys got winning? Like for example, me or Bruce, can they vote like for point for channel points and they can get points by watching and stuff? Yeah, we have that. We're building that right now. That's a Q4 product though. That's that's probably still probably- End of the year? Before end of the year. I'm thinking like 60 days. Okay, cool. That's sick. First of all, Pauly, thank you for adding PayPal in. That's huge. Unfortunately with PayPal is when we, we launched it end of last week, we launched it similar to how we launched Stripe, right? So we just created a PayPal business account. We connected it to Kick, and we started having like a ton of subscriptions and gifted subscriptions flowing in the first day. And they didn't have any idea that we were sort of connecting Kick to that. So they flagged us for what they thought was fraud. So it's temporarily like on hold while they were reviewing our account because we had so much volume so quick because there's just the community of Kick is just awesome and they gift and they sub so much. So right now it's on hold while PayPal reviews, but it'll be back in like a few days. Will people ever be able to sub gift subs with crypto at all or is that a thing possibly in the future is that something that's kind of can't say right now no i mean we're always open about that stuff so stripe actually offers the ability to to subscribe with crypto it's something that we're working with them on right now honestly i don't know timing on that one it, it, we're not ruling it out by any means we just have to work through it i know i know ideas are all in the air it's nothing's confirmed but do you have any updates on on kicks yeah so it's still a, a q4 product for us timing on that is not changing and essentially it's a platform currency not too much different than what some of the other platforms are offering. The thing that's unique about Kicks on our platform is that they're interchangeable between content creators and users. So being able to send Kicks from me to you, you being able to send Kicks to your chat, I think that's something that's revolutionary and I'm ex really excited about that one. Any update with Stream Element Streamlabs? Yeah, that's all part of our public API, which will be done in like two weeks. So once that public API is ready, Stream Element Streamlabs, whoever can start to integrate directly with us and roll out all their products. Paul, can you talk about uh, the creator program. I know it's in beta right now. It's a selected few creators right now that are making that switch from Twitch partner to coming over here. You come over from Twitch, you get a base salary pay pretty much. Can you touch base on that a little bit? Is that something you can talk about? To be honest, I can't speak a whole lot on the, the coming over from Twitch and the base salary because I don't know the details. I can't speak on the details. I can speak on the creator program though. And the creator program is something that Eddie and I have been talking about since October, 2022. You know, to see the first class come out, to be able to pay these streamers who have been with us since the beginning, or whenever and to be able to help them on their day-to-day -day basis to make the decision to, to stream more on kick is just it's super fulfilling to us because it's really hard to be a creator it's really hard to grind it's really hard to make that commitment every day to do it and if we can help them it helps us so this is the first class of many this is not a one and done thing this is us feeling it out understanding what's going well what's not going well to make it better and better and it's it's only going to get better I saw somebody talk about it oh ipad landscape that's probably oh, good. yeah that's that's, that's that's all fixed on the new app 
Thank you. iPad landscape, a lot of Android issues. I know Android was has been kind of a struggle for everybody. All that stuff is resolved and works very, very well. I know obviously Kick is progressing, more sponsors, more people wanting to work and all these things. And I'm going to bring up ads. Obviously, I told myself I'll never run ads in my community. I know it's super hard when you got people like me saying crazy shit sometimes, but I'm, I'm going to clean it up. I'm doing pretty good. But uh, our ads eventually come in a kick. I would not chat. I, by the way, I'll never run any ads. You guys have to worry about it. I mentioned this on a stream like a week or two ago, and I'm looking at your chat and like everybody's saying L ads, no, no, no. And I stand by your chat. I, I mean, I think that ads are not the enemy by any means, but I think that when you go to a stream and you're forced to watch ads, that's not cool. So I, I think being able to have the streamer say, hey, like this is my community, guys, I'm going to run ads, or hey, like you guys not want to see ads, I'm turning it off. It'll never be like Aiden, you have to run two minutes of ads every 30 minutes. We'll never do that. Ads are healthy. They're great for branding. They're great for, for creators to make money. But an unhealthy way is forcing people to watch three minutes of ads and interrupt the stream. We'll, we'll never do that. What, what do you have about VODs? I mean, is there any way to make it more creator friendly? I know you guys just fixed clips. You made that a lot better. Can we make VODs and, and creator and for creators like editors and stuff? Is there is that coming in the near future? Like for people that use YouTube and clip systems and stuff? Is that is that something that can happen soon? So with VODs, there's a couple different things that we're working on. One is being able to not have DMCA tracks on your VODs. I think that's a huge one that's really important to people to be able to just split out audio tracks from, from VODs. Second would being able to download VODs. That's pretty straightforward, but being able to go one step further than that and being able to sort of have like your studio within Kick. So you have your VOD and you know you had a stream that was eight hours long, but you don't want that whole stream, right? You just want maybe like 30 minutes in the front, 30 minutes on the backside, being able to actually just download specific clips within that VOD and then you can send them to your editors. And then on that note, being able to have editor roles within Kick so people can go, those roles can go into your Kick and do that all for you. So that's all stuff we're working on right now. Okay, I know, well, Eddie told me personally, privately, I don't know if you guys can speak on it, but someone asked it, when is Kick planning on being out of beta? I mean, there's no rush for that, truthfully. Like, what's next after the mobile app? What's the next big update after the mobile app? I know you guys work on mobile, so what's after mobile? What's the next plan? Kick beta, if it's up to me, I'd love to be out of it by the end of the year. I think being live in beta for a year gave us a ton of data, a ton of exposure, fixed a ton of things. I would venture to guess that by December 31st, Kick is out of beta. Don't hold me to that. Obviously, like I don't like goal. to put dates on things because if they, yeah. you know, but that would be my goal. As far as you know, what's after the mobile app? The biggest thing we're focusing on right now is is the the API, third party integrations, getting giving people these other companies the ability to like Streamlabs, Stream Elements to work with us. When you're a new platform, it's hard to give people the credentials because we're changing so many things. If we were to change things, we would break their setups. Once we get to a point where we're confident, where we're no longer changing anything we're confident to give them access and i think that's that's super exciting because it'll just take kick to another level i love that that's huge i noticed this glitch too so on mentioned it you know there's a glitch right now where if i type a message sometimes it doesn't send mainly on mobile do you know what i'm talking about or no i do yeah so there was two issues with that one of them is mobile wasn't showing if your chat was in follower only mode or sub only mode so if You're you right, for example turned on sub only mode and people were not subscribers they would be able to send a message but it wouldn't show and that was you know obviously a bug and people were thinking that the messages weren't going through it just doesn't display uh, if it, what what mode it's in like if it's a sub only mode it doesn't display it on mobile right now I, I get what you're saying that's true that was one part the second part is if people spam you know, if they send more than like six messages in 10 seconds like if they spam these up these emotes which a lot of people do they end up getting like their messages are being sort of restricted where only they can see their messages to prevent them from continuing to spam the chat i should have never said it i know <laughs> but in the end there needs to be some sort of like notification where it's like hey cool off you know you've sent too many messages versus like people sending messages that nobody else can see and they, they're wondering why nobody can see them. Are you eventually going to incorporate a chat update where I don't have to be on slow-mo for the chat to basically make pauses for the streamer to read, if that makes sense? Like a little pause kind of on other platforms, how, you know? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think when we launched our chat 2.0, like the focus of that new chat was like, we want it to be super smooth. You know, we don't want any like go back to pauses slow -mo, one second, two second from the front end, from the viewer experience. But from the, the streamer standpoint, like if you're looking at this right now, it's very hard to read. I, exactly. Like it makes, you can't even read it. You have to be in slow mode. But with the new chat that you're saying, you want to add some type of like layer or something in there to basically fix 
that issue. I think it should be some sort of batching or some sort of like maximum amount of messages per second where you can start to read it a little bit easier. I'll take it one step further. You and I can work on that offline and be like, hey, does this work for you? I mean, you your value in the streaming world is you, you get this type of stuff. So we want to make it perfect for you guys. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. We'll, we'll work on that together. I can leak something that I think has been a feature people have been asking for for a while that we're, that we're seriously working on is the ability to rewind live streams. So being able to not to be able to go back two minutes, 10 minutes, three hours. If you're streaming for eight hours, I could rewind back seven hours and 59 minutes and start watching your stream again. That's and great. I can fast forward to live and I can go back and I could, you know, just like YouTube. Uh, that is something oh, that we're we're nice. very close to getting working. That's beautiful, bro. That's a really, really big feature.